guys. So I promised you an at-home workout that you were going to be able to do with just body weight and a chair, and that is coming in this video. But first things first, I am super, super excited to say that I am doing my first six-week challenge. So what this entails is I'm gonna allow a period for you to enter, which is going to be open starting when I upload this video, and it is going to end on Wednesday at midnight because the challenge is going to start Friday, April 1st, and it will go until May 13th will be the end of the six weeks. Well, May 12th will be the Friday that it ends on. Saturday is when I'll choose the winners. That's actually my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad, then. But anyways, so this challenge is going to involve, I will be sending out a six week workout plan with a workout log where you can track your workouts, your weights, everything. The workout plan will be very detailed. There will be five days of lifting weights and it will explain everything. They're not gonna be consecutive, don't worry. It will explain everything. Um, there will be HIIT workouts that you can use for your cardio for this challenge, but you can also do other forms of cardio. Don't worry, the cardio is not like over the top, so don't worry about that. Um, and then also with this challenge, you're going to get a meal plan. Um, that meal plan is going to be very, very versatile. There's gonna be a lot of different options that you can have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I'm going to have you download the app, MyFitnessPal. I have a video all about it. It's super easy, super, super easy to use, but it's just gonna help you so much more keep track of your progress. I'm gonna also attach a food diary, which is going to allow you to track how many carbs, fats, proteins, and calories you're taking in each day. I'm gonna also include a healthy grocery list. I didn't say that. Um, so to start the challenge, I am going to have you guys send me progress pictures. No one's gonna see them but me, do not worry. I know so many people get freaked out. They don't want to take pictures of themselves. They don't want progress pictures. I know, it's scary. But I promise you, if you give your all, if you give 100% to this six-week challenge, you will be so proud of those end result transformation photos. And you can look at them next to each other and see how far you've come. And I don't want you to think of it as just like, obviously you want to win the challenge, like that's cool to win. But do it for yourself, do it for your health, your happiness, and just try to do the best that you personally can do. So, that being said, um, I am going to open up this challenge, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment below, inbox me, email me, all of that information is in the description box. Um, and the winner, I forgot to even say this, I'm so sorry. The winner of this challenge is going to receive a free six month workout plan customized to them by me and also a meal plan customized to you by me. And you're gonna receive a, a t-shirt from one of my Miser Fit shirts which is on my website, www.miserfitness.com. I have the two different tanks and two different tees that I sell and they are for sale on there. So if you wanna enter the challenge, I'm going to put a link to that in the description box below, and it is $40 to enter this challenge, $50 gets you entry to the challenge and a t-shirt of your choice from the website. I'll put a link to that too. So if you do choose to enter from the link um, and get the shirt, don't um, put an order in for the shirt also, just when I get your entry to the challenge, I will ask for your um, t-shirt size then also after you tell me which shirt you want in the email. That'll all be explained. But if you're interested, which I hope a lot of you are, I hope you're all as excited as I am to start something like this, I am going to put the link below, click on that, and sign up. And I'm going to start an Instagram account for this. Um, or not an Instagram account. I'm going to start an Instagram hashtag for this. It's going to be hashtag MeserFit spring challenge oh get excited guys because i'm excited and i can't wait to start and i hope that you're all as excited as i am i hope you guys are ready to take on this challenge and get some real good results hey guys so today i'm going to show you an at-home workout like i said i would so we're going to do a 15 minute workout there's going to be five different exercises each one is going to be one minute, and what's going to happen is you're going to do all five of them, 
and then you're gonna go right back to number one, repeat it for a second time, go right back to number one, repeat it for a third time for a total of a 15 minute workout. So after that, I'm gonna also include a five minute ab circuit that is optional. I will explain that at the end. So you can either do the 15 minute workout by itself, you can add the five minute abs, do the five minute abs by themselves. If you combine them, that's a really quick 20 minute full body workout that you could do with just your body weight and a chair. So the first exercise is going to be a squat with two lunges. So the more advanced version is squat, lunge, lunge. I'll show you that from behind. Squat, lunge, lunge. And if you get tired during the course of that minute or if you just don't want to do the jumping, you're going to do squat, lunge, lunge. From behind, squat, lunge, lunge. So that's exercise number one. You're going to continue that for the full first minute. And then your chair is going to come in. If you're going to do the more advanced version of this exercise, you're going to use two chairs. You're going to have to kind of, it depends on your height, how far apart they're going to be. This is going to be a tricep dip with two leg raises. So your hands are going to go on one of the chairs and your feet are going to go on the second chair. So from here, you're going to bend your arms down into a dip position, straighten them back up, lift your right leg, lift your left leg. Down, lift, lift. That's the more advanced version. So if you can't do that, you're gonna grab one chair and your hands are gonna go on the chair like they did before. Your feet are gonna come in front and you're gonna dip, kick, kick. To make it even easier, bend the knees in, feet flat, bend the arms, knee, knee. From the side, that's gonna look like this, kick, kick, or bend the arms, knee, knee. That's number two. Number three, you're gonna use that chair again. You're only gonna need one chair. This is gonna be a step up and a push up. What you're gonna do, you're gonna step up with your right leg, lift that left knee, step down, down to the floor, push up. Step back up, now you're going with the left leg. Come back down, push up. Now, if you can't do that, there's a much easier version to scale this. You're going to step up, come down, put your hands on the chair, push up on the chair. If that's still too difficult, you're gonna drop your knees, push up like that. Exercise three, done. Step up with a push up. Exercise number four is simple, mountain climbers. So you're in a plank position, your wrist should be underneath your shoulders, butt should be down, core is tight, you're going to pull right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Continue for the minute. If you want to make it more difficult, what you're going to do, feet are going to be on the chair, hands are going to be on the ground. And you're going to pull your knees to your elbows, opposite knee to elbow, mountain climbers like this. To make it even easier, hands on chair, knees to elbows. Okay, so that's number four, mountain climbers. And last but not least, exercise number five. Exercise number five is going to be hip thrusts on the floor or on the chair. So more difficult version first. 
you're going to lay flat on your back. Feet are going to be on the chair. Your heels are going to be touching. You can have your hands down along your sides or to make it harder, out in a T with palms facing up. What you're going to do is you're going to squeeze your core and squeeze your butt up towards the ceiling, hold, and lower, lifting and lowering for the full minute. If you want to make it even harder, you can do 30 seconds with one leg, lift and lower, and then when it gets 30 seconds through, the other leg, or you can do it normal. And then the scaled version is going to be flat on the floor, your um, knees are bent, and you're going to lift up, hold, and lower, lift, and lower. And again, the one on the floor can also be done with one leg and then the other. So, that was the five workouts. I hope you guys enjoyed that. ab circuit. Keep watching if you want to see five minute abs. So we're going to use the chair again and the first exercise is going to be with your legs on the chair you're going to get as close as you can. Your arms are going to be behind your head and the first 30 seconds is going to be a crunch where you're trying to reach for your feet as best as you can. So you're going to reach all the way back, reach all the way up, all the way back, all the way up for 30 seconds. Once 30 seconds is up, you're going to stay in this position and you're going to crunch left, right, reaching for each side. This will be for one full minute. When that's over, the full minute's up, you're going to go back to 30 more seconds of straight crunches, reaching for the toes. So that's two minutes. Your third minute is going to start with your hands behind your back and your legs are going to be bent into your chest. You're going to first kick out under the chair, pull them in. Kick out over the chair, pull them in. That's the first 30 seconds. The next full minute is going to be left, right, left, right. So now after you did a minute of left, right, you're going to go back to the under, over, under, over. So now for your last minute, you're going to do a plank. Three different ways you can do the plank. You can do a normal forearm or um, high plank. You can do a more advanced feet on chair, hands on ground plank for a minute. Or, to make it easier, you can put your hands on the chair and hold a plank here. In all variations of the plank, make sure you are leaving your butt down, squeeze your core, your um, wrist should be under your shoulders, and you should be pushing your heels towards that back wall. out. I can't believe it. I am super, super, super excited, super nervous. And yeah, so I'm going to include that at-home workout for you guys and let you go enter the challenge. But if you liked this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, let me know what other 
what other ideas you guys want to see because I got some good feedback on that status I posted about what you want to see in my videos. So I am open to any more ideas. So let me know, guys. Thank you for watching again. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you for four weeks out.